not like man, mother, that he should what? Lie. He's not like us to make a promise and then we don't keep our what? Word. When God makes you a promise, he keeps his word. And his word is settled in heaven. And heaven and earth, the Bible says, will pass away. But his word stands what? For. That's why God gave us his word. So his word will be our faith, not our need. His word. And if you have a need, his word says he will supply all you need according to his riches in glory. So Chrysler's won't hire nobody hardly now. But I don't depend on Chrysler. My trust is in the Lord. Amen. Aunt Sadie ran out of money last week. I borrowed some from her before. And I can't borrow no more from Aunt Sadie. She doesn't have nothing left. Hardly for herself. Well, guess what I got to do? I got to put my trust in the Lord. But guess where it should have been in the first place? In the Lord. Amen. I got to do like David. I got to say, the Lord is my shepherd. And, and listen, and, and in my Bible says, and I shall not be in one. Oh, no, you got to hear that. I shall never be what? In one. David said, I've never seen the righteous one for sin. Or the children, what? Paying anybody for what? For bread. All the times me and my children went through as a pastor, I didn't have to beg folk for nothing. The Lord was always what? Knocking on my door, bringing my what? My, <laughs> my provision to me. Somebody said, how do you know that? I know it by experience. Yeah. I've had times when my wife and I didn't have whatever. And I tell you, folk would knock at our door and said, I'm here because the Lord told me to buy these groceries and bring them to your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You mean God will do that for us people? Yes, he will. Is that a hard thing for God to do? No. The Bible said there's nothing too hard for the Lord. And God's so good at being God, he'll tell you what to do so you can even create more wealth. Amen. That's it. That's it. Well, and this isn't about wealth. This is about who God is. Yeah. And who God says he'll be for his people. Yeah. Somebody better say amen to me. Amen. Amen. Why do I preach like this? Because I'm building faith in me and building faith in you. Why am I building faith in you? Because our God is true. He doesn't lie. And he's faithful. He's always there to be and do whatever we need him to be and do for us. Now that's according to his what? Will. It's not about us showing up and telling God what to do and what not to do. It's us to say to God, whatever your will is, then so be it. God has a so be it that will overflow in your life. All right, I'm done. I know I can't preach much longer because I'm wearing you out. But I know this. The just shall what? Live. How? By faith. There's another verse. God, the Bible says, the Lord will perfect that. Yes. What concerns me. You know what perfect that means? Means he's going to work it what? He's going to work it all out. He's going to finish everything that has to do with me in my life. Because he's in charge of what? Now, Pastor Sheldon, you read from, from, from Psalm chapter what? 16. Did you all see what Psalm chapter 16 said? Chuck, did you, did you even take notice of what Psalm 16 said? Somebody go there right quick, and I'm going to be quick. I'm going to be done. Psalm 16 said something about an inheritance. Yes. My, 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 my. How many children of God in the house? How many people in this place know that they are children of God? You know that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Put your hand up. Come on, put it up, put it up, put it up. I want you to know that there's a word from the Lord for you. You know what the Bible says God's people have? We have an inheritance. Because we are the children of the Lord, we have an inheritance. God's people have an inheritance. We are joint heirs with Christ. That's over there in Romans chapter 8. Where it says the Holy Spirit, he tells us that we are the sons of God. And if 
sons of God, that we're joint heirs with Christ. What's his is what? Mine. Amen. Know that. You've got an inheritance. Yes. Yes. And over there in Psalms, in, in that psalm, it says there's something about 